I'm here in a little woodsy kind of jungle area on a little island on the Rhine River. It's accessible by boat or off of a bridge. There's one staircase coming down here or you gotta come by boat. I obviously came from the staircase on the bridge where the cars go, but it's a cool place. I went camping in the woods deep in there, you know, surrounded by water. You can take a nice swim and uh, give a little tour here for my friends. Pretty big trees. There's parrots up in those trees. I saw a big yellow one last time, last couple times I came here, a couple times ago. All sorts of birds and usually not many people here, but someone did leave camping stuff here. I was using that mat and the chair last time I was here. We camped right here, but then we moved the camp into the woods, me and my friend. And uh, so yeah. This is one side of the Rhine. There's a breaker to the right there. So the water is kind of still here. Along with the breaker over there. So it's a really nice swimming area. And as you can see over there, not here, over here it's still. But from this point on the water is rushing down pretty fast. So it's tough to swim, there's undercurrents, not so safe. But this is a gorgeous spot. Very nice water to swim in too. Very clean. And uh, yeah, is that a knife? Yeah, I guess someone left a knife. Mm -hmm. Pretty heavy duty one too. This ain't a cheap one. This is nice heavy duty knife. I think I'll keep it actually. Yeah, pretty sharp. Not so sharp, but like it's a nice fillet knife, nice fishing knife. So cool. Little present, little souvenir here. I doubt I'll be able to take it with me wherever I go, unless I check it in. But I guess I can leave it with my friend Mario. Uh, so now we'll be walking back to that blue bridge where it came up from. And this mile stretches about a mile down. I haven't even gone half of it yet. And I've been, been here four times. It's, it's kind of rough inside there. There's not too many trails, but you can make your own trails. But really cool. This is about waist high, chest high, plants. And got my socks pulled up because you got the stinging nettles and thorns. But I usually just skip along here. The last time I was here, I had a nice dream. Jesus was speaking to me, but I didn't see his face. It wasn't even a dream. It was like the last 15 minutes before I woke up, he was just whispering. He was just talking to my soul. And when I woke up, I heard him for like a few seconds. I'm like, oh, that's Jesus, you know? And then uh, I woke up, but it was really beautiful to hear his voice and to hear him talking to me. Literally healing my soul with his words. Healing past transgressions, healing layers of inequity that I've put upon my own self, which he is cleaning me of, ridding me of. That was the point of that talk, because he showed me a dream before it, right before it, about certain sins I did when I was really young. 15 years old that affected me even to this day which were deep deeply embedded in me and uh, he first showed it to me he exposed it then I woke up feeling it feeling the remorse of what I had done to my soul how I'd scarred myself with the, with the sin and then uh, yeah then he whispered healing onto my soul and uh, it was beautiful So, let me run a little bit, get there a little quicker. So 
So this is one of my most more favorite places that I found to hang out. And uh, yeah, so a pretty cool place. I also like swimming in the other side of the island. I'll show you that. Someone made a fire here. I was here when this person was here with his seven kids. He had seven kids, he didn't bring all of them, but he was a nice Russian guy. And, uh, prayed over him. And yeah, so you get a lot of cool people. This is a staircase leading up to the bridge that you get down here with. Now, if you go that way, you end up for like, I don't know, a couple hundred feet, the island ends. That's the one end of it. And the other end goes all the way down. I think about a mile. But again, I haven't had time to explore the entire island. It was pretty cool exploring half of it. I don't want to do it all in one shot. Save some for surprises for later. Now I'd like to come swimming here. Not here, but I'll show you. This is pretty flat ground here. These flat stones here, and a little flat walkway here that goes all the way down. Mm, boom. Right there, that little spot right there. <clears throat> the water has risen. There used to be maybe five to 10 feet of beach sand there. Not less than a week ago. Now it's risen a little bit, so it's covered it up. So I like to swim there, right there. And then behind it too, I passed this breaker. There's another breaker there. So that area is really nice to swim in too. Really nice warm water. If I wasn't busy today, I have to go get something. My mouse broke, so I need to go buy a mouse for my computer. And uh, so, or I'd be swimming right now, actually. It's kind of a nice warm day, a little breezy, but I don't mind. So yeah, I love swimming in, in this part of the Rhine River. And then, of course, the ships come and that creates waves. So it's kind of cool, especially when there's beach sand over here. You just lay on the sand and, and, and the waves come. You know, and uh, yeah, especially when the, the ships are going the other way. It tends to have more waves. I guess they're going against the current. So it causes more uh, of a disbursement. So yeah, a really cool place. I'm really happy that I found it. The Lord led me here to pray one day. And you know, I'm not too superstitious, but the whole Rhine River has like numbers, like one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to like the hundreds. And this just happens to be number seven. This area is called the number seven area, which I think is pretty cool because I've always been fascinated by the number seven. You know, the seven churches, the seven lampstands, the seven horns of the lamb. And yeah, I think where I was in Cologne was like 250 something. So I thought it was pretty cool that the Lord led me here to the number seven. And uh, but again, I'm not too superstitious when it comes to numbers. I don't really talk about numerology and stuff like that. I don't really believe in all that too much. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little mini tour of this beautiful little green kind of unkept wild you know they let it kind of do its own thing you know you see germany along the edges is very cultivated it's very cleaned up but i like this place because they kind of let it loose they let it go and uh so yeah and i like eating these leaves here very tasty leaves even these and these flowers here are among my favorite flowers to eat. I've been eating a lot of flowers lately. This, this stuff is really good. Absolutely love it. Mmm. Tastes amazing. Uh, you should try eating flowers. 
At this point in my life, I, th I don't think there's a flower I won't try. I don't care if it's poisonous or not. I, I don't think it is. I think all green things were given to man to eat, all plants. And uh, sure, I'm not going to eat certain things like nettles and spiky thorns and thistles, but you know, a lot of them are very tasty. It takes a little getting used to. Your palate has to get a little used to it. But once you do, you realize that it's very nutritious too. Daisies, tulips, roses, uh, basically any flower, you know, even leaves. Leaves are very good too. I've been eating a lot of leaves. Any old leaf, I don't care. If it's like bitter, I'll just suck the chlorophyll. It's like wheat grass, you know? Yeah, so that's one way Jesus taught me that, you know, there's food everywhere. If you're ever starving, just pick and eat. He makes it clean. He'll give you the power through it. So getting to the heights here. Just got to hop this little fence here, which I think we'll just do right now real quick. And that's it. Right now I'm staying down there in the Weissman Therm. But I'm off to New Wide, about a three kilometer walk to a mall that I can buy my mouse. So, let me put that in my backpack. I don't be walking around with a knife. People might think I'm crazy. All right, guys. Till next time. Jesus bless. Bye.